Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. As if we don't have enough of these dang things on our shelves. It's just Ninja Turtle overload, isn't it? But lo and behold, walked in my Walmart. All four of these were sitting there, and I just wasn't strong enough. I just wasn't strong enough. So we have the 1988 remastered Ninja Turtles with Leonardo as the first one we'll look at. 40 years of all this madness. It's not even a thing anymore. It's just turtles after turtles after turtles. But these have all new articulation and deco. Ah! <laughs> the artwork is pretty superb all over the box. It's very cool. Create all four, custom scene, yada yada. It, it got me. You know, it's just one of those where it's like, yeah, the... They're only 13 bucks. Why not? Get some more Ninja Turtles on your shelves. But yes, again, these are remastered. They have new articulation. If you ever wanted to bend the knees and twist the arms and all that stuff when we were kids, yes, you can finally do it with these. And they have aggressively styled signature weapons. More on that in just a few. I don't know about the deco, though. Uh, we'll definitely discuss this. Here's the barcode. These are exclusive to Walmart, and they're hitting store shelves now, along with 1988 remastered Michelangelo. The boxes are going to be all the same. Here's the barcode. There might be, in some cases, a little uh, aisle standy around the toy aisle. You might find these. It's all the Playmates. It's kind of like a mix between these and the newest movie, Mutant Mayhem, yada yada. So hopefully these aren't too hard to find. But it took me about a week or two to finally find them, and yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. I'll save you some time. But in the meantime, we're going to take a quick look-see at these. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, from the past, but hey, here we got all new articulation, the Playmates Toys 1988 remastered TMNT figures. Here we go. And while I got all you remastered TMNT fans here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? Well, we got old toys. We got new toys. We got TMNT up the yin yang. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And thus, we will kick everything off with a look at Leonardo. And just as a heads up, all four turtles have all the same exact articulation. So I'm only going to show it to you once. But... It's pretty darn cool. Now, this is Leonardo's brand new aggressively styled weapon. Looks like a spawn gun with a knife attached to it. If this is a real weapon, good for you. I'm glad you know about weapons. I don't. It looks like something somebody made up, but it's cool. You also get a pair of throwing stars. Remember when these were orange and they were all over your carpets? My parents sure do. These right here, definitely a blast from the past. And yes, this is a half-eaten piece of pizza when it used to be orange, and I'm sticking to that. You also get a pair of katana. This time around, they are a gray plastic, but they're starting to implement that colored coordination Leonardo's blue. Obviously, the wraps on his katanas are going to be blue. I really wish that these were just orange. That would have been more ideal to me. Now, each of the four turtles get the exact same base. It's a really nice base. There are wires, red wires, blue wires, piece of pizza. You also got some slime, mutagen, ooze, New York, goo, who knows, doesn't really matter, but it's very well detailed. You got holes at the top where the brickwork is, where you can port in different accessories, one at the front, and all the bases will connect with one another. Not much going on on the back side, of course. Why would you need that to be a thing? But in either case, I'm very happy with these bases. I think that's a nice touch, and I am curious to see how they look when you start connecting all four of them together. A nice touch, though, is that each of the Ninja Turtles come with various accessories for said bases. So, for instance, Leonardo comes with an antenna. It looks like it's got wires wrapped around it. You also get a skylight. That's a big thing in New York City, huh? You can jump through that, kind of, sort of. It's just a hollow piece, but you can... Put the pieces wherever you want on the base, but we need a Ninja Turtle to complete it. So that's where Leonardo comes in. Now, like I said, 
If you've ever wanted articulation for the original 88 Turtles, look no further. My God, he must have an acne problem, though. Oh, that's all I heard. Oh, they look terrible. Oh, they look like they got sores all over themselves. But you sure bought it. Everyone seems to have bought these. Go figure, right? There are some hiccups to these, yes, to be sure. But if you wanted even more articulation, Super 7 did these years ago. So you can go pick those up and probably for a ridiculously good price at this point. No, for me, it's really the pinholes that are showing right there on the front of his shoulders and then the legs. I don't really care for that. Everything else is pretty much rock solid for me. And again, for 13 bucks, I am not going to really complain. All oh, These are fun. You get a ton of weapons, a base, and a figure, and it's articulated. That is a sweet deal. But you also have to go to Walmart. That's kind of like the caveat. Yeah, I'm talking about it. But you get plenty of articulation in the head. Up, down, left, right. Get him looking up. That's cool. I love that. The arms will go straight up. Oh, my God. I remember wanting to do that when I was a kid with the original Ninja Turtles. He has swivel, single jointed elbows. The wrists will swivel, of course, nothing at the waist. The legs are a little tricky. It's that odd end Playmates toys articulation that they sometimes do. You're not gonna see any swivel in the feet, but you got knees and you got the whole kind of upper thigh. And yeah, it's just fun. These are fun turtles. And for me, playing with these things into the ground back in 1988, the fact that you can move these things around as well as you can, that's part of the fun for me. And if you have little ones and you're introducing them to the turtles, well, they are lucking out because now they got full-fledged articulation with weapon storage and the belts, which don't come off, unfortunately, but you can pull those pegs off if you want. But like I said, plenty of weapon storage for the katanas. That's a nice touch. I always like that. I always like putting the weapons in the backs of those belts until they broke. And you know how that went, right? Back of the day. <laughs> but like I said, you can well equip, well articulate Leonardo for a $13 toy. And the base really does help complete all of that. So for that alone, whether you want to stand them straight up, which I know a lot of people are definitely going to do. A lot of people are going to go, you know, yeah, it's got articulation. That's cool. But can you get him kicking? No, the original Turtles couldn't do that, at least not in a naturalistic pose. And for that alone, that rocks, along with Donatello. Now, he's going to get the same basic accessories, except Donnie has that supercharged bow staff with some chains and some wrecking balls on there. That's pretty cool. Again, if this is a real weapon, Go figure. The accessories for Donnie's base, and you can also swip swap these, is more of an air conditioning slash fan unit for the top of the building. I like that. You can put it anywhere. That's that's the beauty. Along with this right here, another ventilation system that goes right in the front. And you got Donatello, who does all the machines, but before all that with the cartoon, it was just this Playmates Toys version. And I love the bow staff because it's an appropriate length for the bow staff. I just don't like the purple wrappings. That's one thing. I won't beat a dead horse, but he's got plenty of bow staff Weapon storage, I love it. Again, the belts seemingly are glued in, so those aren't going to come off like the old school belts, just FYI. But the legs, the articulation, everything is the exact same from Leonardo all the way to Mikey and Donnie and Raph. So no problemos there. But again, it really does complete the figure, having him do all that articulation doings with the throwing The throwing stars are a nice touch. I absolutely love the way that that looks, along with Raphael. Now, if you look closely at Raphael, he does have his old school weapon storage, but you're not gonna be able to store this weapon in anytime soon, which is like a double bow staff hammer shredder killing machine. You also get a little tiny brick oven <laughs> with a wood fire pizza in there, sure. Now, this is just a chimney for the rooftop, and I like all the detail. They didn't really need to go to town with this, and of course you can put it every which way on the base, but I really like that you get an escape ladder which pegs into the holes on the back, and that's just a nice touch. It just looks different. It's a nice extra piece for the base, of which Raphael, who is just the awesome turtle. He's the red one. He's got the weapon storage. He even has the one in the back where you can slip that in where 
We always used to put a piece of pizza or imagine that. At least that's what I did. But Raphael, again, has all the same articulation. But here's the thing. Look at his face. It's odd, right? The mask is kind of over the nose. He's not symmetrical. And that's what bugs me. Now, I have heard that you can heat the head up. You can pop the two pieces apart and readjust the mask to the lower part of the face. And eventually I will do that. But I've looked at all of these in the store. I've seen everybody's photos. I've seen people that said, yeah, it's easy to pop it off and do it. So I will be doing it because it's bugging me. It just looks like he put his mask on crooked. So Playmates Toys QC, just a little bit, a little bit. Just, just keep an eye out for that. But like all the other turtles we've looked at thus far, I love the fact Raphael has his sign. Yes, they are wrapped in red. Go figure. But it's just cool. Weapon storage, holding the side, getting crouched down, doing the whole Raphael poses in that 88 style. Mm, that's pretty darn cool. Which leaves us with Michelangelo. And he comes with basically, it's a nut jug with scythes on each end. It's not going to be anything you can really move around. It's one big plastic piece. But the orange lets you know it belongs to Mikey. You also get this piece right here. It's another vent system, I believe, for the rooftop. And you can, again, put that anywhere you want, along with a multitude of, let's say, Perhaps satellite dish, maybe channel six, something or other. Looks pretty cool. And that will fit at the top, or you can fit it towards the bottom. Michelangelo. I love the fact that he's really the one, along with Leonardo, they've kept the original colors for the most part. I'm not going to beat a dead horse with that either. Playmates Toys has changed the colors of the turtles. I know them like the back of my hand, but... Yes, they've changed them. He's got nunchucks and weapon storage, and the nunchucks have real chains, and it's all a nice touch because Mikey can hold them, and now with the added articulation, you can really have some fun with these for once. <laughs> they used to be plastic, of which you'd bend them any which way, and it would just snap at the base of the nunchuck. So just keep that in mind. That's another reason where I'm like, Heck yeah, this is like a home run across the board for all of these remastered TMNTs. And again, putting him on the base, having him hold the nunchucks, putting the accessories any which way you want to for the base. That's pretty darn cool. I absolutely love this. And, and the, the chains is a nice touch. Thanks for doing that, Playmates Toys. That's, that's, that's really cool. And I know a lot of people are going to ask, why don't you show them with their ridiculous new weapons? Well, here you go. And no, I don't think anybody in their right mind is ever going to display these turtles holding these ridiculous weapons. I sure won't. And I would have loved some orange plastic alternate weapons as opposed to these. <laughs> but that's, again, where the fun of seeing the original. And these are my original figures. They're battered, they're bruised, they're beaten up. But yes, I've kind of put them together over the years, gotten them some new accessories. Don't, you don't have to worry about that. But it's fun to see what has come before and what you have now. And as crouched as they were, don't even get me started on the foot soldier and shredder, of which shredder is coming, but please make a foot soldier. That's one I would love to see with this new modern remastered articulation. But it is so much fun to now be able to straighten their legs move their elbows, get them in all kinds of Ninja Turtle positions. That's a lot of fun. However, nothing will ever beat the joy and the memories I had playing with these as a kid, but these just amp it up that much more for the modern day. But like I said, how cool would these have been if they had the orange accessories? Also, if they would have paid attention and actually put Leonardo's head portrait with Donatello's head portrait and not swapped them like they did. If that's a mistake on them or they intentionally did it, it's a weird mistake. Playmates Toys, that is another QC issue. I'm going to call you out on that because you should be paying attention to that. That's even something I was like, that's off. That's weird. But you know what's not weird? Putting these new 88 remastered turtles with the vehicles of old. And just as a heads up, this is the new pizza thrower. Mine has been lost to time, but we will be taking a look at that in detail coming up on my socials. But they fit beautifully, and I don't remember ever Leonardo being able to hang off the side. Yes, I know, this is a foot vehicle. Whatever. I'm just showing you. Raphael looks good on it. Maybe he's out hunting Mikey. You, you see it in the sticker right there. And then, of course, you have the cheap skate, of which I love the added articulation, just being able to bring Mikey to life that much more on that. 
that is a home run. But everybody's going to want to know, how do these look with the party wagon? And, and kind of looking at the original illustration on the box, you can't really do it with Raph. Leonardo, though, you could definitely make some cool stuff happen. And Donatello and Mikey driving, even putting Mikey's, there's no steering wheel, but you can use your imagination. And that is pretty darn cool. So, yeah, I would say the added articulation definitely ramps up the vehicles. And to quickly touch on the bases, to be able to interconnect all the bases, you have a really awesome, dare I say, Mirage Comics kind of base sort of setup, which you can use these with any Ninja Turtles you have, and you can customize it, put it into a diamond, a four square, or have it be, which is my favorite, have it just look like a rooftop. That's one side of a building, and they're all being attacked on either side from foot soldiers and Shredder and everything else. That's awesome. That makes for a great display. So again, I have some qualms. I have some nitpicks. But overall, these came out pretty darn cool. I'm pretty happy with these. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Playmates Toys, the remastered 1988 TMNT action figures. So, you've already heard my thoughts. I've praised these enough. Again, my nitpicks aside, they're another fun grouping of Ninja Turtles, but Ninja Turtles has just become too much. And I'm really on NECA Toys' side. Now, I, I like the remastered ones. Don't get me wrong. The Technodrome, that's coming up. I think the more classic stuff is where I'm at with Playmates. They seem to be doing a great job. One hit after another. But NECA Toys with their Archies. And then, of course, they got the Mirage and the rest of the cartoon. That's where I'm at with that. Because it's too much Ninja Turtles. And space is becoming a thing. But, again, you've heard my thoughts. And now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if you would have told me as a kid, whenever I was playing with these, that they would eventually make these have better articulation, I would have told you, no way. I also would have said, how'd you get in my house and why do you look like a more adult version of me? And when I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.